Hello crafty friends, I'm Lien from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be back on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel today. Today I am using one of my favorite newly released products, it's the gorgeous large word die you see in the background there, and I'm pairing it with this older stamp set, but it's such a good one. This is a Yuletide Mice stamp set by Reverse Confetti, and it has uh, two Christmas uh, stamps, one a little bit more obvious than the other, and two stamps that you can just use year-round. They're perfect for birthdays, so it's a great versatile stamp set. I know we all love making Christmas cards, but uh, investing in supplies that are just for Christmas sometimes is a little bit difficult. I like to invest more in word dies that I can pair with other stamp sets um, for holidays. So um, yeah, like the one I am using on this card. And then a stamp set I like to be a little bit more versatile. Now, I am just stamping this with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is an alcohol marker friendly ink. I am then coloring this with my Ohu markers, and this is all done onto Claire Fontaine DCP 250 GSM cardstock. I will try to list all of the supplies I used today in the description below. Now, I love love mice because it's really easy to color if you have a great color combination for your markers or whatever coloring medium you're using um it's just perfect because you don't have to think about which color you're doing your mice or your mouse um it's just so easy just some gray and it always fits with everything else on the card <laughs> it's just great to go wild with the background and all the accessories and give those a ton of color without uh, taking away from your critter so i love that bright green tree with a little bit more muted uh, grain mouse and then i'm going to have a really bright background as well now before I get to that, I am going to finish coloring this and then I'm going to stamp this again. So I left the stamp in my Misty after stamping it the first time and now I am doing it with Versafine Onyx Black Ink, which I can add embossing powder to. I love an embossed outline, so I'm using Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder by WOW, sprinkling that on and heat setting that to make it glossy and shine. I just love a glossy black outline. Now for my background. I'm going to do a ton of ink blending. I want a little bit of a spotlight effect, so the lightest bit is going to be in the middle. Now I am starting out with colored cardstock because I wanted this to be a pretty dark background. Um, so the light spot <laughs> absolutely doesn't need to be white. And it's always easier when you're ink blending on colored cardstock because if you miss a spot or if your ink blending isn't super even, it's not going to be white that's showing through. It's just a lighter version of the color you're working with. I'm using Concord 9th dye inks. I love dye inks for this because um, you can really build up the color if you're using oxide inks or pigment inks. The color of the ink pad is really as dark as you can go, but with this, if you keep layering on dark blue, you're going to get a darker blue. Now, here is where I messed up. I didn't let this ink dry at all. I just splattered on my thinned out glue, so I just added some water to a little drop of glue on my uh, blending mat, which is just a laminated sheet of white cardstock. And what, that, what I'm wanting to do with that is emboss it and I am going to, but I forgot that I didn't let my ink dry. So the entire background is covered in embossing powder. Embossing powder sticks to any ink that is still a little bit damp, <laughs> so if you don't let your background that dry, um, you're going to get in trouble. And I did. It's a really dumb mistake, but um, I kept it that way because once it was heat set, I loved it. This was absolutely not my intention, but it was a very happy accident because it gives this frosted look to the cardstock. This is just silver embossing powder, and I just really, really love it. Because of the ink blending that I did, the wettest ink was on the out outside, so the most embossing powder is also on the outer sides of the card panel. And it's just lovely. It looks like a frosted window. <laughs> now, I am. Um, I die cut that gorgeous big word die, Joy to the World, from the newest release. 
um, from the background and I'm going to do some die cut inlay. I did also die cut that sentiment a couple more times, I think three or four times out of white cardstock and layered those together. And I inlaid that first into the background and then I saved all of those little die cut pieces and I'm going to inlay those as well. Those are just the negative pieces um, that came from the background once I die cut the word from it. Save all of those or you're going to get an awkward white spot in between your letters and you don't want that. Now there aren't too many with this word die and they aren't too small but I like to use a jewel pick just to make sure that I uh, can press them in really nicely. And then once more on that white word die, I am adding a little bit of glue so I can glue the positive of the background in place. So it's a really subtle sentiment. It's a little bit more noticeable in real life when you can tilt it in the light, um, but it's just a really fun way to spice up your background a little bit without taking away any of that ink blending and that accidental frosted embossing look. All that was left to do is adhere the mouse in place. I just did that with a little bit of foam tape, making sure to not add foam tape where it's overlapping with the sentiment because that's already propped up. Um, but yeah, and then I added it, uh, some silver gems and that's it, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm done now. <laughs> yes, I really love this card even though I completely messed it up. <laughs> The background was completely messed up, um, this was not my intention, but I just really really love how it turned out even though it was unintentional. I really love that frosted look with the embossing powder, definitely a great look for Christmas. Um, you can do this with silver embossing powder, I wouldn't do it with white, it would look a little bit um, too bright white against the dark blue. I think silver is the way to go here because if you look at it head on, you don't really see it. It's only when you tilt it in the light that it, it really catches the light and gives a nice highlight, that frosted window look to your card. I hope you like the card. I hope you check out the new release by Reverse Confetti if you haven't yet. It's a really, really fun holiday release. There are some Christmas products and some really gorgeous fall products, both for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. Perfect holiday release. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.